Hey, what is up, guys? Uh, welcome to a new vlog. This one, we're going to a friend's workshop. Shooting around his workshop and stuff, see what he's got in store, what he's working on, whose cars he's working on, if obviously he allows us to see that. Uh, we'll obviously do a bit of talking with Jason. Uh, he was at the track in the previous vlogs, uh, testing his car before the BDC season. Um, he's found a, a few little gremlins again, so they've been looking to obviously correct them. Uh, he currently drives a uh, JZ powered RX-7. He used to drive a V8 um, LS motored one, um, but that went out to Europe, uh, obviously sold out to Europe. So we'll see what his plans are for the car at the moment and what his future plans are going to be for whether he sticks with that chassis again and goes back to the combo he was known for or whether he uh, looks to do something different. As long as I've known Jason, he's always drove the RX-7 FD. Yeah, we'll uh, go on the road now. Clark Customs, as Jason's just in pulling off a couple of the uh, covers of some of the, some of the cool projects we've got in. As you see, Matt's BDC car is there, being prepared for the competition winner uh, to drive it. Jason's Pro car is there, it's quite poorly, but it loves giving Jason plenty of work to do, as does the rest of his workshop. But yeah, we'll have a bit of the tour of the workshop, see stuff, and Yes, that is an M5 V8 in an RX-7. So we'll let Jason have a bit of a talk about that and what's going on with it. Jason Clark, and he's gonna go through, obviously the M5 conversion in the RX-7. And as you can see here, it sticks out just a little. Yeah. So um, the, the old RX-7 that I had, which was airless powered, that went to Germany, the chat boy over there. And this is actually his brother, so he was that impressed with the car that I'd previously built, he asked me to build him one. So we've done the full roll cage in it from a standard shell, and it's a cage that'll comply in the BDC and in Germany. And I tried to steer him away from a BMW V8, but it is German, so I've got to give him a bit of leeway. So we've done the full, full engine conversion, subframe, engine mounts, gearbox mount and a diff frame because RX-7s have a, a power plant frame that means if you change the box the diff just falls to the floor so that's uh, at the minute we've done what we've been asked to do he's coming over to give us another list which so uh, you'll probably be seeing some more on that on my own page <laughs> David Titler's 14, which is, again, come for some custom work. So this is not a job that I'm doing start to finish, uh, but I do help a lot of people with areas of their build that they're struggling with. So on the LS's and the 14's, the steering column is in probably the worst place it can ever be, directly across the gap. So I'm gonna have to make a split manifold for this side and just a nice, simple manifold on this side, which will be cracking when I get on it. So yeah, with the LS in the S chassis, the steering right there, manifolds come from here. Normally have to wrap round the steering column, an absolute pain. I've actually worked on one myself with Marco Drift Happy when I went out there. Not the greatest of fun to do. Um, I don't envy Jason for doing this. Um, it'll probably pickle his brain for a couple of hours probably throw many scraps of paper away designing them and a bit more on this uh, M5 motor in the RX-7 there's not much room for activities here I mean that's tight <laughs> that's real tight 
they're them two projects there for obviously other people. Um, whilst talking about the different projects, Jason's told me this one here is quite unique. Um, definitely going to be something that's going to be a street terror, I reckon. But he's told me it's going to go for drag racing. Probably not something you're going to expect. Um, yeah, let's have a look. I think this driver might be a bit new. Um, yeah, as you can see. So, you know, grandma on the jazz. All the jazzy bits. She needs to get to the supermarket very quick. Yeah. So. Um, Danny H, you're going to love this. So it's going to be a turbo type R engine. Yep, heard that right. Turbo type R motor. Drag car. And it's quite a big turbo too. So yeah, that's uh, definitely something you probably want for a couple of um, traffic light drag races. <laughs> yeah. Probably one of the nicest old school Mercedes shells that was built yeah, and has. Like <laughs> Definitely outside of the box, especially when it comes to drift cars. Um, somewhat of a Taliban taxi, but I really, I really dig it. Yeah. Um, yep. That is right. That is the most cor correct engine. Well, it might be a 25, but still. Big. Alsberg did Mercedes. Yes. <laughs> So I've seen this car many time, many years ago and it was definitely a fire breather then. I can't wait to see it again. It was a adopted love child. Um, this is the bastard child. Yeah, yeah, with. more of the bastard child. Yeah. Um, it gives him more problems every time he drives it. So it, it, basically it's a, it's a JZ RX-7. The conversion was originally done by someone else. Um, quite a a bit of sloppy work was done, which we've corrected. I hope, I hope, I hope I've corrected all of it now, but it keeps testing me. So there's going to be a little bit of work to do back to the dyno, because there's no more events available. Everywhere's booked up. And kick its heading up dyno and then take it to Scotland. Yeah. Fingers. <laughs> so next time we see this car, we'll be in Scotland at BDC round one. As we've mentioned in other vlogs, make sure you check out BDC Insider for their live streams. But yeah, we'll definitely catch up with Jason whilst he's at BDC and see how he's getting on. Uh, now, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or, or if he's took a match to it and uh, a kind of petrol. But yeah, we'll now start having a walk around Matt's BDC car, which he's put up for uh, competition for someone to drive to let some random person drive yeah i mean me. <laughs> yeah the competition was literally you purchased a ticket to help the bdc out really um and you then this yeah you get a day with rdx who you've seen in previous vlogs and then they get to drive this at three sisters definitely going to be interesting this is a e92 m3 but that would be an LS motor inside. Matt originally went for the LS motor in it. Jason's got some plans. Um, Jason, what do you have there? Well, everyone was saying turbo engines are better than LS engines. So we thought, well, let's just turbo an LS and see what they'll think about that. Sounds great. Uh, just gotta throw it in and then we're good to go. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the size of your chest. Yes, it's, uh, it's not a shy turbo. Yeah, and with a sizable LS pushing it, um, I think this th car will definitely spin the wheels and definitely shift. Cool. 
S13, Vanessa R in. One of my good friends, Sam Simcox, this guy. He's done a lot of the work himself. A lot of work's been done at Slide, uh, adding some when I was working there. Um, it's we've rebuilt the engine and we've done quite a bit of rust work on the car in the past. Well, it's an S13. It's, it it's an, going to be rust. It is an S13. So now he's at the point where the 25 year old wiring looms cause him issues. So we're going to build a brand new engine loom, brand new car loom, start from scratch, full concept, and then no more wiring problems. I've seen cars from Australia and they say upside down and everything, but <laughs> having a car in the workshop upside down, but as you can see, by here, there's been quite a lot of work and if I show you what it used to look like, just around here. The other, other side's a work in progress. Yeah, you would understand why there's been a lot of work and why the car's upside down. There's just quite a bit missing on this side. Saying the entire sill and the entire rear quarter. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there should be quite a bit of metal here. Yeah. I mean, you know, most people, like, especially lots of Nissans at tracks, kind of turn around and say, oh, you know, you might be missing a bumper, you might be missing a side skirt. <laughs> yeah, not the side Currently skirt. missing a good chunk of the chassis. Of us here, there's another car that's in the workshop. And you're running all the wires, Fab. And definitely an interesting uh, engine choice there, Jason. Nothing. Yes, it's the old uh, fresh air BG. Yeah, um, unless he's going to plan on Fred Flintstone in it. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'll get very far with that. No. Uh, a chap called Jason Lear, um, the notorious for the single turbos. They have a twin turbo, and you've got one on each side, and they're really pressed up against the block, which it generates a lot of heat, which is hard to get rid of. And it's hard to sort of improve the performance because you don't have the space to put anything really bigger in there. So right behind you is his engine. As we pan around here. Um, we've converted that to a single turbo. So we've fired on a nice big ball guana and made some custom manifolds to bring the turbo around to the front. And um, we've gone for a twin scroll to get the extra spool. And we're gonna be running two individual wastegates to get the best sort of control of boost that we can. So this is about ready now to go back in the car. Before it does, I've got the pleasurable job of heat wrapping the manifolds. So I might, uh, I might do that this week. Yeah, I, I mean, I think you might need nimble fingers there, Jay. I think that might be a job for uh, Danny who works here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I mean, he's got three this side. And three to do the opposite side. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yeah, you think you're getting far ahead once you've done one side. Well, three, and then you realize I've got to go and reverse everything. And he also, he wants us to do a full four inch exhaust, which I'm not even sure there's gonna be space to get a four inch exhaust past the engine. So that will be very interesting. Yeah, cause you know, the VQs aren't exactly the smallest of blocks. No. And then if we go back to the engine bay, there's not that much room, no. <laughs> especially under the tunnel. But four inch exhaust out of a V6 turbo, definitely sound interesting. It should sound amazing, to be fair. I mean, mm. it's a built engine, so we will be seeing six to seven horsepower out of it. That's a bit of a tour of Jason's workshop. Massive thanks to Jason for having us for an hour or two. No problem. Uh, make sure to check Jason out in the description below. Uh, but yeah, we'll catch up with Jason in a couple of weeks at BDC. See this car soon. Those, obviously, you see them on different parts in the UK. And yeah, massive thanks for Jason. So guys, this brings the vlog to an end. Um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, awesome to see some projects at Jason's. Hopefully I can go there again soon. Uh, see some other stuff. I mean, you know, <laughs> a Honda Jazz that's going to have a Civic turbo motor. 
for drag racing drag racing is going to be something i want to keep an eye on um obviously there's some of the bdc drift cup cars there really awesome to see but yeah cheers to jason cheers for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one guys thank you very much